hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will see how to perform image change detection using arcgis pro mm -hmm. for this tutorial i am trying to show uh, categorical change detection in order to determine change occurred between two decades so in the for this purpose i'm using arcgis pro <coughs> so uh, in arcgis pro performing image change detection as we know uh, change on the air surface can occur because of human activity or abrupt natural disturb disturbances or uh, long-term climate climatological and uh, environmental trends so uh, detecting that change is one of the fundamental application in imagery and uh, remote sensing technology as we know uh, remote sensing technology started in 1972 so uh, from the first Landsat image, you can determine change occurred between 1972 and the current day. So change detection is a comparison of multi raster data sets typically uh, collected from one area at different time to determine the type, magnitude and the location of uh, the change. So this could take uh, the form of image to image change detection or change detected across uh, stack of image or time series image so there are three main different categories of change detection especially in ArcGIS Pro there are three methods of uh, detecting the change uh, these are categorical pixel value and time series change detection methods so uh, in ArcGIS Pro <coughs> this ArcGIS Pro offers us a variety of tools to perform change detection and the change detection tool sets in this ArcGIS Pro contains tools that perform change detection between raster data sets between two uh, raster data sets so uh, this ArcGIS Pro also uh, includes an intuitive change detection wizard which uh, combines tools and function to guide the users through uh, three possible change detection workflow so first we need uh, to add our image as i told you in this tutorial i'm going to use uh, categorical change detection which is a change between two uh, thematic layers so uh, i need to add the land you the cover i have already prepared using supervised classification so i have uh, two land use uh, image or land use image of two different tiers so uh, <coughs> This is 2010 and uh, 2020. So here I have. Uh, this two uh, thema uh, two raster image which is land use of 2020 and uh, 20 2010 and i have uh, five four classes of uh, land uh, uses or land covers which are vegetation water body settlement and barrel land so i need to determine the change happened between these two uh, decades so uh, the first uh, workflow in ArcGIS Pro is change detection, which is categorical change detection, which identifies the type of change between two thematic or categorical raster uh, data sets uh, like this or uh, land use land cover. And the second one is pixel value change uh, detection wizard. Uh, this one uh, calculates the difference in pixel value or brightness value or distant number of value between two continuous raster for example temperature raster or multiband imagery which means you can determine uh, <coughs> the difference between or can calculate the difference between pixel value of 2010 and 2020 or band the similar band for example landsat band landsat 7 band 8 and the landsat 7 band 8 between these two uh, pixels the third one is time series change which identifies uh, the data or the date of change in a time series of image using uh, either the continuous change detection in the classification method or by using uh, landsat based detection of train in disturbance and recovery so from this three uh, uh, workflow in ArcGIS Pro we are going to use the categorical change detection so 
first after we added our uh, images go to this <coughs> imagery and then change the session this is the change the session wizard so here uh, change the session method as i told you there are three more methods time series change pixel value change and categorical change detection this one is for the change detection between two thematic layer for the raster data set and this one is between pixel to pixel change detection so uh, for this tutorial we are going to use this categorical change detection from raster will be the first image so in my case i have lulc of 2010 and the two raster is the current one 2020 then processing will be full extent or we can we are going to determine uh, all over this image <coughs> the next here are some statistics that you need uh, to add here also you can select change only uh, filter method or unchange it or, or you can also uh, add this uh, all of the change that will happen so i'm i'm only selecting the change only uh, button and you need to tick all of these uh, classes so uh, select all the classes for both from and the two classes the transaction class uh, color method here we can use average from color or to color i'm going to use from color uh, it takes average from the two uh, images the next here are uh, smoothing uh, neighborhood there are emitters which is 3 by 3 5 by 5 7 by 7 uh, i'm okay with the default one the other one is result as raster data set or uh, raster fraction template or feature classes you can use feature class or raster data set and uh, give your output file location and rename your output finally uh, press the run button So uh, the post processing or post uh, change post classification change detection uh, process is already completed successfully. Here we have the output change detection or change detection map or change map. Here you can get some statistics uh, <coughs> which shows uh, changes from and uh, to. So uh, the place where uh, vegetation in the first if image or in 2010 image was converted to the water body in 2020 again in the vegetation class in 2010 is converted to settlement again vegetation also converted to barren land, barren land. so there are many changes happened between these uh, two decades so from this uh, image or from this change map you can analyze or we can extract more information and if you check uh, the attribute table of uh, this change map so uh, here are class name uh, class from in the class two again uh, area change this is area change uh, you can do further analysis on this uh, uh, final output and also we can create uh, 
uh, graph or you can create a chart to describe the amount of changes happened or occurred between these two uh, decades so uh, this is all about my today's lesson in the next uh, tutorial i will show you how to do the or how to perform the pixel based change detection using this uh, arcgis pro and uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like the video and uh, share it with your friends and uh, thank you and uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial